What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Jordan. If you're new, I am up. It is, believe it or not, it's 5.07 a.m. And we're up and we're getting ready to go to the gym. I'm just putting on my shoes right now. Um, I'm about to go to the gym and get my day started. Um, I have nothing to do today other than to work. I have a lot of work to catch up on. Um, but tonight, uh, I am headed to the Jamie Foxx book tour. Um, we're going to um, one of his stops here in the Dallas area. And it's supposed to be like him just being all that Jamie Foxx is. I'm a really huge Jamie Foxx fan, so I'm really excited about it. Um, I actually don't know what to expect, but I'm just uh, looking forward to um, some entertainment tonight. And then tomorrow we are headed on a girls road trip to Houston. So very excited about that. Um, so today I'm just kind of like getting my life together, getting work done because tomorrow I'm off work, not answering emails, not doing anything this whole weekend other than hanging out with my friends. Um, I'm going with the same group of girls that I went to Cabo with and we're actually meeting up with um, the couple that we met in Cabo. Um, hey Carlos in Britain, if you're watching. Um, we're going to visit them at their home in Houston and we're just gonna have a really good weekend. I'm very excited, looking forward to hanging out with them. And yeah, so today is just getting it together, packing and prepping for the weekend that is to come. Am I the only person that forgets to hydrate in the morning? legitimately be forgetting that like I need to drink water before I start working out okay uh -oh. Oh. I'm on okay got my pre-workout I'll put a picture here of the pre-workout that I use um I personally like it. I'm not really into like feeling like I'm on drugs in the gym. So this is a pre-workout that works for me. Um, it kind of does give me that tingly feeling, but doesn't give me the jitters. I don't necessarily know if I'm caffeine sensitive or not because I'm not really a caffeine drinker regularly um, outside of like an occasional tea. Um, but for the most part, I like, I really rarely if ever drink coffee and tea occasionally, but tea low, normally has low doses of caffeine. Um, Pre-workout is like my most consistent source of caffeine and I only take one scoop uh, a day and I normally only take it like if I'm going to the gym in the morning. If I'm going to the gym like after 12, I don't even bother taking it because um, I don't, just don't want anything to mess, up my, mess with my sleep. So yeah, um, let's head into the gym. Today is arms day or back. I did triceps on Tuesday. So I think it's uh, biceps and back today. Like I said in a previous vlog, um, my workouts get progressively like easier, if you will, over the week. And so today shouldn't be too bad. I need to remind myself to do a story time about how I got fired yesterday from a freelance job that I was doing. Um, and the company was like, yeah, no, we're going in another direction. I have to give y'all story time on that because girl, it was, it was an interesting, it was an interesting situation. Back at home, um, just making some breakfast real quick. So I checked my mail and I got a tax bill in the mail. This mini smackeroonies guys. Um, I did, of course, I called the number. So I'm like, wait, I have to pay y'all $3,800 by January 31st. But I think my mortgage company is supposed to be paying it, according to Google. And that's what the customer service people said. So I need to call my mortgage company um, and be like, yo, what's going on? Do I need to pay this bill or no? I really hope not because I'm paying property tax every month. A part of my mortgage? I don't know, girl. Home ownership is loaded, okay? It's very, very loaded. But um, I actually have a few calls to make. So I already called the tax people, so that means I have to call the mortgage people, um, which is like, it's not top, top priority, but a little bit. Um, what else? Oh, this is what I got in the mail today. Um, I'm a Simbird subscriber. This is not sponsored, but if y'all want to sponsor me, you know, hit me up. Um, I 
Got my monthly scent burn. Let me put y'all somewhere. Y'all gonna stay if I put you right here. Y'all gonna behave. Child, come on now. Okay. Make sure I'm recording. Ooh. Jordan, get it together. Uh oh. Girl, get your bacon. Get your bacon. Get your bacon. This month, we got Confessions of a Rebel Morning After. Oh, okay. Yes. Last month, I got. Confessions of a Rebel, Let's Be Real, and I really liked it. So I went with this one this month, and hopefully it smells as good as the last one. Ooh, okay. It's kind of cologne-y. Yeah, it kind of smells like men's cologne, but it's like slightly less strong. I don't know anything about perfume, and so this is kind of helping me learn um, perfume talk on TikTok. If you're not on TikTok, you should definitely at least get on perfume talk. Um, kind of is full of like fragrance uh, connoisseurs and people who are just, you know, really big into perfumes. And so I've been, you know, watching them talk about scents and things. And I've never really been a scent person. Like I just kind of use whatever was given to me or yeah, pretty much. I don't know if I've ever really purchased perfume for myself like that. So I'm trying to get into it. So um, I'm learning about like notes and all that stuff. So this says, um, Confessions of a Rebel, morning after, feels as good as the night before, decadent and hot, vibrant Italian lemon and herbaceous notes bring uh, on a jolt of energy with wild lavender, patchouli, and tonka bean take the edge off the lingering haziness. And then it has like the notes. Um, and it tells you exactly what's in it, gives you all the ingredients, the link for where it's available. If y'all are trying to get into fragrances like me, definitely recommend Scentbird. They um, have a really good thing going. Um, and uh, I rarely like run, run out of the scents just because by the time the next one comes, like I'll like start wearing that one. And so I haven't actually ran out of the last one I had. And I'd be forgetting to put them on sometimes. But yeah, so I kind of have like a little travel size collection running right now. Um, and I do travel a lot, so this is a really perfect size for me. Um, but yeah, when I remember to apply for perfume, I use these. So I also got a package from Savage X Fenty. I do have some bras and underwear. Um, I am a VIP member for them. And so I just um, used my, my credit that I got, um, actually no, I had two credits. Yeah, I had two credits um, that I just hadn't used. So I just stocked up on draws and bralettes. I've really been getting into bralettes more. Um, I think because of the pandemic, you know, naturally we're kind of all in the house not wearing bras. And so I just got used to not wearing them like that or like just wearing sports bras and stuff. And so now it's kind of hard to get back into um, wearing bras um, and like full time. And so I've really been leaning toward um, like bras with like not a lot of underwire and stuff. So like this kind of has like a um, like a fabric feel, like there's no cup and then it just kind of has an underwire for support. So I really like these, um, or I like them on the site. I haven't actually ever worn them before, but I like the way this like looked and I've already gotten like some bralettes from them before. And so I just picked up a few more of those. And then some underwear because um, you always need more draws. Hey y'all, I am back. Um, it's a little bit later in the day. It's 11, almost 11.30. I'm gonna um, get a brief snack slash meal in. Then I think I need to put in some laundry. And then I'm gonna get back to work. Um, trying to figure out what I'm gonna be wearing this weekend. Um, we're literally going to Houston for the weekend, so it's really not that deep. But I just wanna make sure um, I am fully prepared uh, for any and all festivities that'll be happening. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna make a smoothie. Yeah, let's do that. So we got our smoothie. It's just strawberries, a banana, and the frozen pack of acai. 
By the way, this is a Kev on Stage, Mrs. Kev on Stage Stan account. Just in case you didn't know, I need to get a lot of stuff done in a short amount of time. I'm done working for now. And so now I'm going to cook and clean up the kitchen. Um, this is what the kitchen is looking like. So, yeah. Um, yeah, she needs some work. Laundry room is abysmal. Okay. Some of the things that I keep in my gym bag include a barbell pad, which I'm obviously not gonna wash ab roller, some gloves, which I am gonna wash, a jump rope, a mask, um, a waist trainer, this one is from Child's Fit, that I can no longer fit. Ha! That was funny. So, we're gonna circle back to that, hopefully, soon. Um, I do have a sweat belt, which I'm gonna wash. Actually, I need to put that in the garment bag that it's supposed to go in. Um, then I have some like, uh, these things that I don't know what they're formally called. I don't know what these are called, but these. Um, I have a heavy resistance band and then a res long resistance band. Shout out to Brianna for these bags. Um, my friend has a clothing brand and I'll put, I'll put the link here, but the clothes, uh, get sent in these bags and I use them for different things such as organizing my gym bag. So my bands are in here, a towel which needs to be washed. I keep some drawers in here, just in case like I have my period and I didn't know I was gonna have my period or something while I'm in the gym, it's like, you know, I'm So I have some panties in here. I have uh, pads, liners, whatever. And then uh, some wipes. These are just anti-back like hand wipes. And then I have some Puro hand sanitizer, which I can just start putting in the pocket because I forgot I have it here. Um, I have a tape measure. <laughs> if I ever want to measure myself in the gym. And I have some deodorant. And then I have um, a random nylon headband that needs to be washed. Oh, what do you know? Another belt. Why do I have so many of these? What happened here? I have another resistance band, but I don't know what happened right there. Okay. Oh, I might keep this bad boy in here, which is the, uh, what is it called? Workout enhancer. It's like the thermal stick that you put um, on your waist area when you use the sweet set, sweet sweat belt, sweet, sweet sweat belt, sweet sweat belt. Um, I also need to get a new gym bag. This one I just found at Target, it was cheap. It's really like a travel duffel, but it works for like what I need it for. But I feel like I want something smaller. So that one, I should be lugging it around and I fill it up with stuff that I probably don't need to be keeping in there. frontal queen by any means so don't look too close thanks management so i just need to put on my shoes i'm just gonna wear some tall um boots with this because this is fairly short for me um so i'm gonna put on some tall boots with this um i'm gonna link the picture um of this outfit like a full picture because i don't have a full-size mirror to show y'all the outfit, but I do have a picture in it um, from when I shot in this fit. So um, instead of boots, the heel boots, I'm going to do um, a flat boot instead. 
I'm not a frontal queen, that's what I was saying. I'm not a frontal queen, don't look too close, but I think I did a pretty decent job. I don't actually like glue down and do all the bonding for my frontal. Um, I just put it on because it fits pretty well to my head. Um, and then I um, I just like take some got to be spray and I spray it around the perimeter, like lightly though. I spray it, I literally spray it on my finger and like dab it on my edges and then um, I like pull the frontal and then I'll like soup the baby hairs real quick with some, uh, I use this got to be today, the black one, but I also have the yellow one. You can use either. Um, but I use the black one to like soup the baby hairs, like really just this part where the part is, um, to give it a little va ba boom. And then this side is kind of a bit more abysmal, but then I go ahead and put um, like a little silk scarf situation on. I put this on and then I leave that on, do my makeup and I take it off. And when I take it off, everything is laid down perfectly. Um, I wouldn't recommend this obviously if you um, are gonna go swing your head around or go get on a roller coaster. Obviously don't do that or don't do this method. But this method is really good for my girls who just cannot put on frontals to save their life such as me. Um, I got this frontal um, installed by a professional stylist, but, um, you know, that was a couple weeks ago and I'm not gonna go back to like get it reinstalled and stuff. But she did do like the initial install and then she cut the layers. And so it's been a lot easier. It's been a lot easier to maintain um, this method just because she kind of did all of the hard work. Like I got it cut to my hairline already. I got it laid already. So it's just a matter of reapplying. Um, so yeah, that is that. Uh, now I just need to find my shoes. What do I do with those boots? They might. Yeah, I think they're still downstairs. Okay, my boots are already downstairs in the garage. So I'm just gonna grab my water, my phone case, and then we're gonna skedaddle because I am late. We made it safely to the venue. I need to put my shoes on. These are the shoes I'm wearing. These are from Ego. They're just some like basic flat boots. There was like some traffic near the normal entrance or the entrance I went to last time where there was also traffic. So I went to a different entrance and I'm lost. So we're good to go. If you're going to a concert or show or venue or whatever, just keep in mind that um, a lot of times negative COVID tests or uh, vaccines may be required, proof of vaccine may be required at certain venues. So just do your research in advance. Um, the venue sometimes will reach out, but sometimes they won't. So it's just important to do your due diligence because you don't want to be like me. And I had to pay for a COVID test a couple weeks ago when I went to the Magic City concert. Um, and yeah, that was just annoying. So yes, keep your stuff on you, negative test or vaccine or whatever. I'm about to head into the show. show was so much fun frontal stayed pretty legit uh oh don't 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 do that y'all don't pull off your eyelashes like i was supposed to do i thought they were already coming off okay yeah this one is kind of this is an oil-based situation that uh by the ordinary brand and so um it's really good for taking off makeup lashes etc that's what I use it for when I first got it oh my eyes burned it oh god so I'm gonna take off my makeup and then I am pack, gonna pack and do the things and then I'll see you in the morning <laughs> good morning reporting to you live from the rental car lot um I did not get to film um me I'm getting into our rental right now. Got a nice 
Got a nice little mom car. It's bigger than the one we had too. So let me close this door. So um, end up coming home last night from the show. Um, did like a little bit of work, but I was super tired. So I ran the risk of, um, I ran the risk. <laughs> Hold on now. Packing this morning. So we made it, um, packed up and now I'm just getting the car. We're gonna head to probably the Target. 7.21 in the morning. Target doesn't open till eight. Um, maybe a little warmer. But yeah, we need to grab a few things before we head on the road. Wait for Simone. Wait for Lauren. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be on the road by 10 a.m. Um, and yes, definitely looking forward to this road trip. Much needed girl time, TLC, all the things. Um, but yeah. We're in Target. Got the car. Um, we're in Target picking up a few things. I'm looking for some eyelashes. Um, I've had like a slew of eyelashes in my collection for months, literal months. And I've gotten to the point where it's time to finally get some new ones. Um, I've worn and reworn the same ones over and over again. So um, yeah, I have a few pairs left, but not ones that I'm like, that are like natural or like everyday lash. I think I'm gonna get some Ardell Demi Wispies. No, what are these? These are pretty. These are really pretty. I like lashes that kind of just give a little bit of something something. So I think I might go with these. Okay, I think I might go with these. And I really like how the Ardell band is like basically invisible. Like the band, like you can literally barely see it. These are the wispies, actually. I need some nails. These nails. I'm really not a coffee girl. You're not? Uh -uh. Mm. Like, never been a coffee girl, but I was nervous. This is a skinny caramel macchiato with almond milk. Um, I this is like my go-to drink once in a blue moon when I do get coffee from Starbucks, which is literally like once a year. Otherwise, I get tea or water. Um, but I remember I found out about this drink ages ago, and I started getting it, and I remember it tastes good, but I couldn't remember what kind of milk I got. Mm. But I think it might, it, I don't know if it was almond milk or not, but skinny caramel macchiato with almond milk is good. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Vlog. First road trip. We're doing it. Let's. We're going to Chick Fil A first, cause... and we're going to pray that we don't kill each other in the process. Of this we're weekend. not. Everyone's in great spirits. Lauren needs to eat. Simone needs to eat, and then we're going to go do. The and break. I need to get the stain out of my Anthony, pants. Get you a tie to go pee. <laughs> don't go anywhere wearing light colored clothes without a tie to go pee. The because you wore the light skin pants today. I had on my skims right. trying to be cute and then I got Chick fil A. No, Thank you. 
Yeah. Going to the steakhouse and we about to make some rounds. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Carlos. Okay. All right. You, you gotta finish mine. Yeah. Oh, we making some rounds. Yeah. Okay. We about to make some rounds. Yeah. We're about to act a clown. Whoa. Whoa. Age time. Whoa. You know it's going down. Hey. Come on, Tariq. Come on, Tariq. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. we in the back. Yeah. It's me and Jordan. Yeah. Yeah, we real gorgeous, but yeah. you cannot enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Lauren, I had no idea what you're talking about. Who's you blind? blind? You blind. Who's blind? blind? You know, I am, I am not blind. I can see you right now. Yes, I can still see you. I got eyes. They just need some like black oak curtains. Okay. To prevent the sun from ever penetrating my Ever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Three, how do we sleep? <laughs> Now you go in progress. Sorry, sorry, in progress. It's in progress. Mm -hmm. You gonna fry your eggs in the bacon grease? Mm -hmm. All you know about those is the fried eggs. <laughs> You're so serious. That sounds Brittany, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. why are you frying your eggs in bacon grease? It is delicious. It is, it's not the healthiest, but it's not the worst. How often do you do it? It's not the worst. Okay. I could really probably do nails if I had a nail uh, nail drill and a uh, cuticle clipper. I feel like it's not hard. Yeah. If it, it takes is, practice. No, I have a dip kit. And uh, baby, it, it's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah. Yeah, that dip. You, you don't think want to be all chunky. Right. You do it yourself, though. I don't like to do it for you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, who want to let me practice? It's like, I'm up coming in. No, yeah, you up, you up and coming, all right. I'm not, still up and still coming. Well, I'm not supposed to vacuum my real cow, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it anyway. And if it go bald, I'm gonna buy a new one. Good morning. Good morning, Lauren. Say hi to my boss. Hi. Um, we're getting ready to go to an escape room. Escape room. And it's gonna be super fun and I'm very excited. Um, we're in the room with strangers because we got duped into it um, by the guy that uh, at the booking, whatever, at the reservation. Um, so, it's 
super excited. I'm super looking forward to it. Escape rooms are always pretty fun. Me and Lauren have done an escape room together before. And <laughs> last time we were pretty good. To, I mean, it was a large group, so it was hard. We were in a group of like 10 people. And so it's harder with more voices, more ideas, all the things. So it's like us, our group of five. And then I think he said there's four people in that room already. So there's gonna be nine of us if those people show up. So this should be very interesting to say the very least. <laughs> Still stuck. Oh, gang, 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 gang. We're doing good. We're doing very good. To relit something up just now, it turned blue. Oops. <laughs> but nothing else. Going Girl. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. It turned blue. Oh, maybe you have to So that would be the... this one. I think it's this one or this one. I think yeah. it's this. No, that one's wrong. Hmm? It's got oh, it has a. Is that one? Yeah, this it has a square next to it. Okay. Can they come down? Or? No. No. I already no. tried. <sighs> This weekend was quite wonderful. Yes. 10 out of 10, yes. 8 out of 8. <laughs> 8 out of 8, okay. <laughs> All right. Girl, I'm sitting on the other side. My legs longer than yours. I'm taller than you. That don't mean your legs longer than mine. <laughs> oh, my tacos. All right, All right, big dog. <laughs> All right, big dog. <laughs> we got this piece. We got this piece. We got this piece, homie. We got this piece, homie. We got this piece, homie. Oh, she see money, but 